Let's talk about how the SAT subject test in chemistry is scored. So if you're familiar with how the SAT is scored, it's very similar. If you get a question right, you get plus one raw point. If you omit a question, that is you don't actually put down an answer, you get no credit. And if you put down an answer and you get it wrong, not only do you get no credit, you actually lose a quarter of a point. And we'll talk about what this means for guessing in a little bit. The one other important thing to mention before we go on to guessing is related to the scoring rubric. The scoring rubric for the SAT subject test is actually pretty generous. So this is just an example rubric from one of the practice tests. Notice you can get pretty much three wrong and still be in the 800 region. Uh, more or less, though, with the minus one quarter penalty, it makes things a bit trickier. But notice you can still get three wrong. But then even beyond that, I mean, the 700 is all the way, you know, the 700 boundaries all the way down here. It's pretty much 18 wrong and you'll still be in the 700 range, at least for this particular test. Now, one thing, of course, to keep in mind is the average on the SAT subject test in chemistry is much higher than it is for the regular SAT. So the regular SAT, the sections are around 500. The average for this is in the 630 region or so. So you got to keep that in mind. But nonetheless, you can still get quite a few wrong and still score pretty well. Um, so just keep that in mind that the curve is pretty generous. You don't have to answer every single question to get a really good score. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now about guessing, so when should you guess? It's the same strategy as it is for the SAT, uh, the regular SAT. Basically, if you can get down to two or three choices, if you can eliminate down to a guess between two or three, then you should guess. If you're only down to one or you can't eliminate any, I don't recommend guessing. It's just not really going to be worth it for you. You're more often going to hurt yourself than you are going to help yourself in those situations. But if you can eliminate down to two or three, definitely guess. And this is going to be useful because there might be some questions that you don't know exactly the answer, but you know at the very least how to get to the answer, or at least how to eliminate choices, and therefore get down to a good guess.